lacking everybody, your boy Bones is back and today I have a very special video for you guys. I am back in the kitchen and not only am I back in the kitchen, I got a ton of chocolate baby. So that's right, we are making a DIY giant butterfinger yay. Yeah. We're taking it back old school, we're making a DIY giant chocolate bar. I have none other than the main man behind the camera, Chow and Jay, say what's up to the people. Let's get it baby, yo. Today's gonna be a banger, all right? We're bringing it back old school, let's get it. So we are not wasting any time today, but right before we get into the video, I need you guys to go down and smash, smash. that like button, all right? Let's try to get over 10,000 likes on this video since I am making a DIY giant chocolate bar. I am super excited to get today's video started, so let's not waste any more time. First step in today's video is you gotta hit up our favorite store ever, Bulk Barn, guys. They never disappoint. I got the most amount of chocolate I've ever gotten for a video. Here. The guy looked at me funny, man. I was I was about to swear. I was like, yo, why are you looking at me funny, bro? He was like, why do you have so much chocolate? He rang it up, looked at me, and said, are you sure? I was like, yes, I'm sure. So we have all the chocolate. We are gonna move over to our oven where I have the double boiler technique Here. going. So we're gonna grab our chocolate and we are gonna start to pour into our, whoa, all right, there we go, just like old time. Boom! I love now that. Now we have our chocolate going on our double boiler. We're waiting for that guy to melt, but organization and efficiency. Guys, I'm so excited to be back in the kitchen. We are gonna start working on the filling that is gonna go into our DIY giant butterfinger yin. So here goes nothing, we have our giant glass bowl that is microwave safe, all right? We have in this bag a bunch of dusty liquid candy corn oz, all right? So this- bro, I had no clue to make a Butterfinger, you'd use candy corn. That was bro. the last thing I'd expect, Who would have thought? So for those who don't know, the filling inside of a Butterfinger is this delicious, gooey, peanut butter, crunchy vibe. So what we're gonna do is use some candy corn to make our DIY giant Butterfinger yay. So here's about four cups of candy corn, all right? We're gonna toss that guy into our big duct tea bowl like so. So what we want to do is now move this guy into the microwave, guys. And usually I don't like using the microwave, but for this recipe specifically, it said to use the microwave. I said, ah. All right. So we're going to pull that guy in there. We're going to set it up to 45 seconds. Not too long because we don't want it to burn. We just want it to melt. 2,000 years later. You really melt? <laughs> Guys, my favorite part of El Bongo's DIYs is always the chocolate. Look how good this <laughs> looks, bro. bro. I miss this, bro. Look at this. So, guys, this is our first layer of chocolate. This is what we're going to use to create our base layer of our DIY giant butterfinger yay. So, here we go, guys. We are almost done with the chocolate, which means we can move over to our working station. We realized that we had to put the candy corn in the thingamajiggy for way too long, so it's in the thingamajiggy right now. But we're gonna move over to lining our tin can, our favorite tin can, with some parchment paper, all right? Hey. So here we go. We got the parchment paper. We're gonna create a nice little lining of parchment paper for our tin. And I find it actually works better if you do it against like, Ooh, you know what I mean? This thing cooperated, fam. That way it just pulls in. All right, so there's our first. Press it down. Make sure you're just creasing. You're bumba creasing. <laughs> your tin. <laughs> That's some parchment paper work for your head top. Guys, this is how you know I'm a professional, all right? I've done this a couple times. You can check out my other videos if you click up here. Okay. Look at this. Boom. Move this guy in here like so. You got to make sure that you get the crevices because you don't want no chocolate cream. <laughs> Creeping around. Every video you have one word that shocks me that you say. What? Crevices? <laughs> crevices. What was the other one with the cutting? Uh, it was Julienne. I'm gonna say the word of the day today is crevice. Ooh, you hear that? I did. Our microwave is done! So we're gonna wrap this up and then we're gonna check out what's happening in the microwave. Alright guys, let's check up on our candy corn and ooh, we got some melting going on in here, baby. So let's go ahead and mix this guy up. Oh, okay. Ooh. So you see how it's coming together? It's becoming this big melted candy corn, big vibes, big orange vibes. vibes. We're gonna mix this guy together and make sure that it is melted to the correct consistency, guys. You see how we still have some chunks there. We don't want those chunks, so we're gonna put this guy back in the microwave <laughs> for about 20 seconds. That should do it. Then we are ready to move on to step four, four of our DIY. Why? 
giant Butterfinger game. Okay, so since our candy corn is ready to go, we are about to finish off that mixture, but we are ready to put in our first layer of chocolate into our DIY chocolate bar. So Yo, here I'm we go. aged. We are gonna grab Let's go. the big ducty bowl from the double boiler. Oh, that is Be ducky. careful, it's nice and hot. All right, give it one final mix right before the pour to make sure everything is nice and melted. Slow, ball, slow, slow, slow. Slow, here we go. Ready? Oh, we're ready. Hear the sexy chocolate music, boys! Boom, boom, boom. All right, so there's our chocolate. Here we go, boom, that can go right back here. All right, our favorite shake and bake trick, baby. Here we go, get the thing, make sure it's all lined up, make the thing go The thing goes And boom, all right, cool. So we're just gonna move the chocolate over a little bit, give it a nice little tap again, press it up against the lining to make sure that it is straight on the bottom. Don't ever play yourself. And there we go, there is our first layer of chocolate in our DIY giant chocolate bar, yeah. And we're gonna take this guy, put it in the fridge. Oh, the new elbow fridge, guys. Let's see if this fits. Here. Here. Beautiful. So there's our chocolate bar, we can close this guy up. Let that guy cool down. Let's move back over to the working station, guys, where we have our melted candy corn, all right? So what we wanna do is while that guy is cooling down, we wanna grab some peanut butter, yeah, all right? We have about four cups of candy corn here, which means we have to need about two and a half cups of peanut butter. So I'm gonna eye this one. I'm gonna say this is about two and a half cups of peanut butter. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so we're gonna mix this guy up, all right? Mix up your candy corn and your peanut butter at the same time. So you see Bro, look how at the flick of the wrist on this guy. Bro, you see how it's changing form. It's not it's not so much candy corn anymore and you smell it, bro. I wish the viewers at home can smell it this. Smells like it smells like the butterfinger. Smells like the butterfinger. It's already starting to look like the insides too. That's what I'm saying, bro. So you got to mix this up some more, all right? Make sure you don't ever play yourself. You play yourself. All right? Make sure you grab all the sides, bring it down, mix it up. All right. Boom. This guy's now, attacking it, bro. What we want to do it's gotta be crispy. Grab, it's gotta be crispy. It's gotta be crispy, guys. Grab some frosted flake, guys. Enjoy. All right. Now, what we want to do is grab some frosted flakes with our hands. But before we do that, we gotta take the jewels off, We Gotta take the jewels off. Lion! Tony! Lion! We took the jewels off. Now, we got some cornflakes in our hands, and we just want to absolutely crush them into our mixture. Here, 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 all right? Grab some more Frosted Flakes. Don't ever play yourself. You played yourself. And crush them here, 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 and here. You want enough Frosted Flakes so that you cover your entire batch of whatever the heck we're mixing over here, but you continue to what you're mixing, your peanut butter candy corn concoction with the crisp, and now what we want to do is we want to mix this all together very thoroughly, all right? Boom, we're creating a nice, big dutty butterfinger inside that is gonna look like a little bit of a dough right now but it's more of a filling than it is a dough so here we go we're gonna continue with the mix and we'll be right back alrighty guys so I've been going at this guy for about five to ten minutes now it is still pretty warm but as you guys can see it is nice and flaky it is nice and crumbly it, it smells exactly like a butterfinger exactly, exactly like a butterfinger exactly like a butterfinger so we're just gonna give this guy one final mix before I move on to the next step, which is forming the inside of the chocolate bar, all right? So we grabbed our parchment paper. We're just gonna put a nice sheet of parchment paper on the counter like this so nothing sticks. So what we wanna do, guys, is grab this entire piece of peanut butter candy corn goodness, all right? We're gonna put this guy on the parchment paper like so and grab any bits that are stuck in the bowl, guys. What you can do is just take your wooden spoon and scrape them off like so, boom. Grab all that peanut butter goodness and put it on to your parchment paper. All right, guys, so what you see here is all of the peanut butter goodness that was in our big white bowl. So what we wanna do now is try to mold out the size of our chocolate bar, all right? So we wanna put it on a piece of parchment paper, bring all the parchment paper together like so, and all the parchment paper together like so on the other side, make it a little bit of a burrito us and start to shape the entire piece, all right? We wanna make sure this is a nice, big, dutty piece of peanut butter. So here we go, boom, we can take a look. 
All right, you see we are starting to mold out what the inside of this Butterfinger is gonna look like. So we're just gonna continue with that guy until we have the right shape and size that we are looking for. Alrighty guys, so we have left the chocolate bar in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes. We want to make sure that thing is completely hard, so here we go, we are gonna whip that guy out of the beautiful fridge. And as you can see, hard as a rock. I love so, that. what we wanna do, is fix the lining a little bit. Now we want to take our peanut butter concoction, all right? Now this should fit perfectly in our bar, right? So here yeah, we that's go. That's a moment of truth, man. Ooh! Boom, you see me with Whoa. the measurements, G. You see me with the measurements, that's don't ever play perfect. yourself. So we're just gonna press this guy up a little bit into the chocolate bar. So boom, there's our filling. Let's All see right. The people wanna see, bro. We got our filling. So now that we know it fits, what we wanna do is we're actually just gonna take this guy out for two seconds. We're gonna grab our melted chocolate. Guys, safety first, make sure you put on some oven mitts. So here we go. What we wanna do is actually take a little bit of chocolate and pour it on the bottom so that the top can stick to the bottom. Ooh, you a genius. So here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Just a little bit of chocolate like so. Grab your ever so nice spatula boom boom give it a one two flick of the wrist back and forth this will essentially uh act as a adhesive uh, an adhesive here for your butterfinger so there we go grab the butterfinger boom stick it in like so press it down ever so gently boom 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 here 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 now we can take the rest of our chocolate and here comes the fun part cue the sexy chocolate music yet again boy We want to get all the chocolate that's in our bowl. Don't ever play yourself. Don't waste your chocolate because this stuff is expensive and delicious at the same time. All right, so here we go. We got bare chocolate into our bowl. What we want to do now <laughs> is give it that old shake and bake technique. Classic. You see me with the shake and bake technique. You see me with the shake and bake technique, baby. Shake and bake! So here we go. Give that guy a one, two, shake and bake like so. Grab the rest of your chocolate and make sure that you have all your filling covered like so. Boom. See me with that chocolate vibe, baby. Big chocolate vibe. So there we go. Give it one, two, shake and bake yet again. Now we're gonna let this guy cool off. So make sure you give it enough time. We're gonna give it about half an hour or so, maybe even an hour. Whenever it is fully, fully hard, then we can flip it over, top it off with some more chocolate, and we are ready to taste test our DIY giant butterfinger, yeah, bro. I'm age one eternity later. Alrighty, guys. So we have left the chocolate bar in the fridge for about an hour. We want to make sure that it is rock solid. So as you guys can see, we have one big dusty piece of chocolate right here. So what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna flip it out of the container. And guys, it is still a little bit warm, so. This might have had to stay in there a little bit longer, but it's pretty hard right now, so I think we can work with it. Ooh. So take off all the excess margarine, baby. And sometimes it gets stuck here on the side, so make sure you guys get all of that. Here, here, here. So we've removed all the little pieces of parchment vapor from our chocolate bar, so we are ready to put the final layer of chocolate on our giant Butterfinger E. So we are gonna lay this guy on top of two bowls like so. As you guys can see, it has a nice soft top, so we gotta give it that Butterfinger vibe. All right, so I'm gonna grab the chocolate that I have melted here on the side, and this is gonna be our last. Whoa. Bro, a pea, it's a drip of boiling hot water just smoked my toe. All right, so we are gonna grab the last bit of chocolate here. We're just gonna. Bro, this is the best part. This is like, you're, you're like blessing the chocolate bar right this now. Look at this one. This, this is, is the holy this chocolate. Is the final pour. So here we go. We are gonna take this chocolate and. Here. Use sexy chocolate music for the third time. Here. So before we complete the chocolate bar, we gotta give it that Butterfinger vibe on the top. So as you guys can see, it was a nice little pour, and we gotta give it that Butterfinger vibe. Whoa, 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 it's way too warm right now. There we go. Let's give it that vibe. Big, dutty vibe. So give it nice little spike causes. You see what I'm doing with the spike cause? Giving it that Butterfinger vibe. So keep giving it bare spike cause 
all the way across the chocolate bar until you have successfully recreated the Butterfinger. Now take your spatula, guys, and boom. Ooh. Give it one nice swipe on the side to give it some shape. And you guys want to do that around the entire chocolate bar. Bring it around town. And now guys, you want to leave your chocolate bar on the counter. You want to let the compound chocolate do the compounding. So you want to make sure that it is nice and firm. And then we are ready to taste this DIY giant Butterfinger game. I'm excited to see how this is going to turn out. So we're going to give this guy about half an hour and then we are ready to go in on it. Here. Alrighty guys, so the chocolate bar has been on the side. It's been cooling off for about half an hour. And and as you guys can see, it is nice and hard. And you see the waves, G? It's nice and wavy. You can probably ride a surfboard on this baby. So, we're gonna take it off the two bowls. We're gonna drop it down. One, two, three. Here. Now, it is our favorite time of the video. It is the taste test time. So, I am about to slice into this bad boy, and then we are ready to taste our DIY giant Butterfinger Yeet. Oh, this is right, a moment so of truth, here we go. Here we go, moment of truth. All right, here we go with the cut. We gotta go in nice and smoothly here. All right, all right. Okay, here we go, now we're talking. You ready for this? Oh yeah, buddy. Look at that seesaw technique. Oh. oh. Ooh. Bro, that looks exactly like it. Like, ah, oh, come on, man. Look at those flakes, G. We really do these. Come on, baby. It's taste test time. All right, guys, so like I was saying, it is our favorite time of the video. It's the taste test time. So let's go ahead. Ooh. And uh, get right into it. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Butterfinger vibes! A lot. Yo, the crunch is nice, B. What the heck? Yo, Dave, Charlie. Right now. Mmm. Mmm. This is a vibe. Guys, we have some special guests in the building today. We have Rice Gum and Wolfie. Rice Gum and Blake Griffin. Hey. Straight back from LA. AKA Zion from Pretty Much. Here. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go guys, we are about to break these guys off a big dutty piece of Butterfinger. Wait, what bar is it? It's a Butterfinger. That's oaf. I'm oaf. You're <laughs> oaf. I don't even like Butterfingers. No, no, no. Does no, it no. taste anything like a Wunda bar? It kind of tastes like a Wunda bar. Without the peanuts. Here you go. <laughs> you got a nice big dutty piece right there. <laughs> mm. So what exactly am I... Oh, so what? try to go for the uh, peanut butter. Here. And the chocolate. Mmm! <laughs> That's lit, bro. Mmm! <laughs> Dave? No, it's not fun, not fun. The chocolate complements the wafer. Ooh. There's wafer in here, right? Yeah, the cornflakes. Is there cornflakes in here? What? Your frosted Why? Cakes. Yeah, that's, I knew it was a little too sweet. That's not on the regular. Why did you add frosted that's a, you, flakes? You added that? It was a bongo exclusive vibe. Yeah, yeah. frosted flakes are regular flakes. And this is a frosted It's old. No, it's actually delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you do with the chocolate, but the chocolate is always amazing. Mmm. Like, so you good. Here first. Joe! Come try out I'm the I'm aged. Jad, yeah. I'm aged, yeah. Let's try a big ducky bite. Ooh, I like that. Oh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you got donut yeah. right Oh, he's going off. Mm. Mm. I'm a no, 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 no. It's actually a mod thing, bro. Mm. When I went downstairs for Fortnite, you made a ball. No, no, I made it. I made it. There's no way you made that, bro. I made it, buddy. I made it. Yo, Charlie, Charlie. Mm. Chill, chill, chill. What happened to your hair, dog? Damn! I know all the comments are going to be about my hair. They don't even care about the chocolate. <laughs> for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this video please go down and smash, smash that, that thumbs like up button that thumbs up button i had a great time making this diy giant butterfinger yay it actually turned out fantastic the peanut butter the crunch the chocolate it was all a big vibe huge shout out to my boys for helping me out on today's video first and foremost chat with the j for me the cameraman here here let's get it shout out to david purity for taste testing he looks kind of like the orange is the there's, new black god. There's trap god, yeah, aka yeah. orange is the new black god. If you got this in your mouth, they'll all thumbs up right now. Right, go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> that was worth it. They should still thumbs up.
Comment down below a future DIY you would like to see on this channel and hey, your idea might just make it. Again guys, thank you so much for watching this video and till next time. Take, Take it, it easy. easy. It's Bongeezy.